We escaped Kentucky, made it to Ohio, and now we're setting for the weekend. More on that coming up. Hi everybody, I'm Judy. And I'm Jim. Welcome back to It's a Highway Vlog, where you get to travel the country with us. And you don't even have to leave your living room. So, while you're just sitting there, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring that little notification bell so you don't miss a thing. Hey everybody, we are at the truck stop, the TA truck stop here in Jeffersonville, Ohio. We moved up from Kentucky this morning, had a beautiful drive. Uh, it's early fall, mid-fall here in Ohio and Kentucky. The leaves are starting to turn. And so we have a load that picks up Monday, not too far from here. So we decided we would just drive back up here set for the weekend get some cooking done uh record a couple videos and then uh, we'll be ready to go for next week and hope that it's a better week than this week was amen to that <laughs> yeah this last week was not that great uh but that happens sometimes so we're optimistic that uh, the next week will be better i think it has to be <laughs> yeah yeah on the plus side uh, we've got some friends who are down here yep. and they're at home right now uh, we talked to them and I think we're gonna go do some stuff with them tomorrow. Yeah, we've known them since probably Seven years maybe longer than that. They were one of the very first FedEx teams we met out here We met them at the Vince Lombardi Travel Plaza. Oh my gosh, just outside of New York City <laughs> It's a place Rob's second home. <laughs> it's, it's a place uh, Yes, yeah, so our friends Ralph and Judy Thomas. We're gonna go with them tomorrow They invited us to go along with church in the morning with them and so we get to do that and uh, maybe go to their house. We've been to their house once before, um, but they're good friends of ours. And uh, so, you know, that's that's one of the benefits of this job. We've got friends all over the country and we've got to actually go and visit them from time to time. Yeah, we even uh, met up with Mark last week. Yeah, last so week. So this is the second weekend in a row. We get to meet up with friends. It's last awesome. weekend in Denver, uh, one of my best friends from high school lived across the street from me. Um, um, we got to meet up with him, went out to dinner with him in Denver. He came down and got us. Um, so that's neat. That's one of the big benefits that we really like about being out here at times. Um, you know, we are, we're only about 120 miles from our house. Yeah, we not chose very far. to stay out this weekend instead of going home. Um, we've got some stuff we need to get done, some paperwork and everything on the truck. And when we do go home, we love to go home, but it's like we need to come back to the truck to take a vacation <laughs> uh, <laughs> and it's not just that but yesterday we were kind of hoping we might pick up something yeah. um just just a little short weekend run because our week was so bad last week and that didn't pan out so we decided to just come up here and um if we went home everybody is working anyway right. and uh right. so they're we our family tends to work on the weekends we have family that's in the restaurant business so their weekends are working and uh so that's that's another part of the decision right so the best time for us to go home is through the week when everybody's <laughs> which, off where we need to be out which is where we need to be running um so we're gonna probably stay out i think we have to go home next weekend because we have freezer beef coming Yay! And uh, so we're probably going to have to go pick that up. Uh, we've got Judy Scott, a friend of hers, uh, her and her husband. Well, Funkhauser Judy... Family Farm. Yes. Yay. Shout out to them. <laughs> um, they, uh, Judy's went to high school with those guys. They own a farm. It's They have grass-fed uh, beef. Uh, it's really, really good. We got a quarter beef last year, and we've got another one coming this time. So, yeah. Uh, and they also have sheep and hogs yeah. and chickens. And... It's a neat place. Yes. It's a farm. Big farm. So uh, I think they have a website. We'll leave a link below in the description. <laughs> they, you know, they every person it. on YouTube says that phrase. Yeah, but that's... they have um, that uh, where people can stay too at their farm. Oh yeah, they have like a, the bed, a bed thing. and breakfast. That's yeah, really neat. It's really cool. Uh, so we will leave a link below in the description. Yeah, definitely uh, because if you want it, you know. Experience the, experience the farm life. The farm life. It of, is awesome. Yeah. It's so cool. So anyway, so that's what we're doing. We're just sitting here. We just did a short update video. Tomorrow we'll do some cooking. Uh, got some grilling to do in the truck. Uh, and then, Which won't be on the video because I already shared that with you the other day. Yeah, and then uh, 
Judy's got some laundry she does. I've got some cleaning to do in the truck. And we have our exercising we need to do yeah, every we're day. Doing our exercising. Our 30 day challenge. 30 we're going to be on day, well, today's day six. Today is day six. Tomorrow is day seven. Yeah. Amazing how that works. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again. Seven. Former educator. <laughs> yes. And tomorrow's Sunday. And tomorrow's Sunday. The seventh yes. day. We're supposed to be resting, right? Yes, I will do that. Uh, so anyway, but uh, so thanks for joining us. If you like this kind of content and you would like to see more, please like, subscribe, and comment on our videos. And we will see you next time. Yep. So long, everybody. Good night.